hello welcome again to another video of OBGS biology and in this video I am going to discuss about the Pfizer vaccine and how does the Pfizer BioNTech vaccine work the side effects of this vaccine and the efficacy rate of this vaccine so watch the video till the end to know the details of the Pfizer BioNTech COVID-19 vaccine which has the efficacy rate greater than 95% this Pfizer BioNTech COVID-19 vaccine is a mRNA vaccine so now let's discuss about the mechanism of action of this vaccine or how does this vaccine work you all know that mRNA or messenger RNA is a single stranded molecule of RNA that corresponds to the genetic sequence of a gene and is read by a ribosome in the process of synthesizing a protein now in case of mRNA vaccines like Moderna, Pfizer and Johnson & Johnson's vaccines the vaccine contains an active molecule of mRNA along with other molecules and this mRNA encodes for the spike proteins and the spike proteins are not harmful itself now when this vaccine is introduced into our body through our muscles now the mRNA is uptaken by the immune cells of our body now once the instruction are inside the immune cells or the mRNA are inside of our immune cells the cells use them to make protein pieces means here the mRNAs are translated into proteins or the spike proteins and now these proteins which are generated is not our own body protein so our immune cells will detect that it is not the proteins of our body means it is the non-self protein so now what happened the cells destroy itself now what happened the cells destroy itself and the cells breaks down the instruction and gets rid of the proteins and now these protein components are floating in our body and now what happens the other immune cells of our body takes these proteins inside it and displays the protein pieces on its surface and now our immune system recognizes that the protein does not belong to them means it is not the proteins of our body now here the spike proteins are acting as the antigens and now our immune system will recognize what type of protein is it and now these immune cells will signal our immune system to produce the antibodies against the spike proteins or the antigens according to the nature of that proteins so here is actually the cellular mode of immunity is signaling the humoral mode of immunity and now our immune system will produce the specific antibodies against the antigen and now these antibodies will start being produced by the B cells of our immune system and these B cells are converted into the plasma cells and these plasma cells are producing the specific antibodies against the antigen and not only the plasma cells produce the antibodies but also they take this as a memory means they are keeping it in their memory and we are calling the cell as the memory cells and now our body have learned how to protect against future infection now suppose after two or three months of your vaccination you are affected by the SARS-CoV-2 virus then our immune system will recognize the spike proteins of the virus and as our body or our immune system already know how to produce antibodies our specific antibodies against the spike proteins and they have already made the antibodies against the spike proteins these antibodies will fight against the SARS-CoV-2 virus and they will bind to the spike proteins of the virus and they will destroy the virus 
even after depletion of the antibodies suppose after 8 or 10 months uh, after the depletion of the antibodies the memory cells will be there now when after years uh, when there will be the presence of this coronavirus they will detect and they will produce the antibodies against it as they have already produced the antibodies against the spike proteins this is how the mrna vaccines work in case of these types of vaccines we are not taking the viruses inside our body as vaccine but we are taking the mrna inside our body which is encoding the spike proteins and the spike proteins are detected by our immune system and our immune system will produce antibodies against it and these antibodies will help us in fight against the future infection of coronavirus this is the mode of action of mrna vaccines or this is the mechanism of action of the pfizer BioNTech covid 19 vaccine now let's come to the side effects of this vaccine after taking the vaccine there may be some side effects like severe allergic reaction non-severe allergic reactions such as rash itching hives swelling of the face and there may be pain at the site of injection and there may be tiredness headache muscle ache chills joint pain fever injection site swelling injection site redness nausea feeling unwell swollen lymph nodes diarrhea vomiting and there may be arm pain now let's come to the efficacy rate of this vaccine the efficacy rate of this pfizer biointech vaccine is 95 percent means it is very much effective against sars-cov-2 virus but the duration of protection is still unknown as the clinical trials are still ongoing now let's come to the doses this is a two doses vaccine and these two doses are given three weeks apart now let's discuss that who should not take this vaccine anyone had a severe allergic reaction after a previous dose of this vaccine he or she should not take this vaccine and if anyone had a severe allergic reaction to any of the ingredients of this vaccine then he or she should not take this vaccine so what are the ingredients of this vaccine as it is a mrna vaccine the main component is the mrna and the other ingredients are lipids potassium chloride mono basic potassium phosphate sodium chloride dibasic sodium phosphate dihydrate and sucrose now what should you mention to your vaccination provider before you get the pfizer BioNTech covid 19 vaccine if you have any allergies if you have a fever if you have a bleeding disorder or you are on a blood thinner or you are immunocompromised or are on a medicine that affects you or your immune system if you are a pregnant or a lactating woman and if you have received another COVID-19 vaccine or if you have ever fainted in association with an injection so this is all about the Pfizer BioNTech COVID-19 vaccine so thank you for watching the video please like the video and share the video and please subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed yet and hit the bell icon we'll meet you in the next video thank you